Before we start our topic today, please smash the like button and subscribe to help the channel grow. What are the advantages and disadvantages of life insurance? Life insurance is something you may consider adding to your financial plan if you're interested in providing a measure of security for your loved ones. Proceeds from a life insurance policy can be used to pay final expenses, eliminate outstanding debts, or cover day-to-day -day expenses. Whether life insurance is a smart investment may depend on what you need and want a policy to do for you. Life insurance provides affordable financial protection to your loved ones if you pass away. The main advantage of owning a life insurance policy is that if you die, your beneficiaries receive a payout called a death benefit that replaces any income you provided while you were alive. The disadvantage is that you have to pay monthly or annual premiums for this benefit. The pros of having life insurance outweigh the cons for most people with financial responsibilities. If you're able to incorporate life insurance premiums into your budget, you can rest assured that your family will be financially secure if you die unexpectedly. Key Takeaways Buy coverage as early as possible because life insurance gets more expensive as you get older and your health changes. The advantage of having life insurance securing financial protection for your loved ones outweighs the major disadva disadvantage for most people paying premiums. Purchasing term life and investing the difference is the best way to reap the benefits of life insurance. Advantages of buying life insurance. Financial protection for your family. The advantage of life insurance is also its functional purpose. Life insurance is the exchange of a relatively small payment each month a premium for a very large amount of money if you die a death benefit. A high enough death benefit covers living expenses, such as a mortgage and your kid's college tuition. It can also provide a financial cushion for unforeseen expenses. The death benefit is paid out as a tax-free lump sum, unlike funds your loved ones may receive from your inheritance or estate. In addition to hefty taxes, legal processes that can sometimes tie up the funds in your estate, so purchasing life insurance is the best way to ensure immediate protection when you die. Peace of mind. If you don't die while your life insurance policy is active, it may seem like all those premium payments were for nothing. But they weren't for nothing, you were paying for protection if you did die, which can happen unexpectedly. You're paying for the peace of mind that comes from financially protecting your family. You can't put a price on that. It's easier than ever to apply for life insurance. You can even complete the entire life insurance application online over a couple of commercial breaks while you're watching The Good Place. You just need your medical and financial records by your side. If you need help, reach out the nearest financial advisor or insurance agent. Life insurance completes your financial plan. A lot of people save for their retirement by buying an asset you can sell for a profit later, investing in an individual retirement account or a 401k plan, or socking some money away in an interest-bearing savings account. You want to protect yourself financially as you age, and the best way to do that is to start saving yesterday. Buying life insurance should be part of that financial plan, because a lot of those tactics won't bear fruit until you're much older. If you die before then, but you have people who rely on you financially, your retirement accounts are not going to be of much use to them. Disadvantages of buying life insurance Life insurance can be expensive if you're unhealthy or old. Life insurance is most affordable if you're young and healthy. Your premiums are determined by your medical profile, family medical history, and age, so life insurance companies will charge you more for coverage if your profile flags anything that could potentially increase your risk of dying early. And if you're so unhealthy that your medical bills are already a significant burden on your finances, life insurance might be helpful to your loved ones, but terrible for your wallet. All things being equal, a $500,000 life insurance policy would cost approximately $20 more per month if you got it in your 40s than if you'd gotten it in your 20s, according to Policy Genius data. Most people earn more income as they get older than they did when they were younger, so that extra cost may not be a big financial burden, but you'll still end up paying more the longer you wait to get coverage. How to get the most advantageous life insurance coverage? Sign up for life insurance early. You'll save hundreds of dollars on your premiums if you sign up for life insurance when you're younger and healthier. 
You'll get the coverage you need even if you don't need it at that very moment, you can save money by buying a policy in your 20s if you expect to have dependents in your 30s. Tell the truth on your life insurance application. The life insurance contestability period is a two-year time frame after your policy becomes active. During this time the life insurance company may investigate your application if you die and they suspect that you lied and were less healthy than you let on during the application process or if you had risky hobbies that you failed to mention. If your insurer finds that you misrepresented yourself in an effort to get cheaper coverage, they may cancel the policy outright, reject the beneficiary's claim to the death benefit, or pay out a reduced death benefit prorated against the premiums you should have been paying. Buy only the coverage you need and invest the rest. With proper budgeting, you can end up getting coverage and making high retirement account contributions. That way you're financially secure no matter what. Most people only need term life insurance, but some may find that whole life insurance is a better fit for their financial plan. Check out the rates of return on various retirement accounts and compare them to what you'd expect to get from a cash value life insurance policy standalone retirement accounts will likely yield higher returns. Talk to a financial planner to figure out the best combination of life insurance coverage and savings account contributions for your needs. Hopefully, your dependents will never need to claim your life insurance, but if you die while your policy is active, you can rest easier knowing their basic expenses, mortgage payments and education costs will be covered. Thank you for watching see you again for another interesting facts and amazing stories and also please like and subscribe. What have you planned for tomorrow? Are you waking up early or sleeping in? Meeting friends or family? Business or pleasure? It's easy to plan a day, the next day and the day ahead. And when you look far enough into the future, you're getting ready for a lifetime. Your lifetime. At Sun Life Financial, we are your partner through every step of tomorrow, towards your goals, your dreams, big or small, and preparing you for the lifetime you want to live by helping you live a prosperous, healthy, and brighter life, no matter what happens. We have been doing this for over 120 years making us the first and longest standing life insurer in the country. We've been through it all, together. But don't take our word for it. Just ask the millions of Filipinos whose lives we've made brighter. We're a partner, your partner, whom you can trust and rely on. We give you advice to get you where you want to be. This is our promise, to make sure that your every tomorrow is brighter than the last. We're more than an insurance and investments company. We're a partner. Your lifetime partner. Sun Life Financial.